Okay, today I'm going to show you how to construct a regular hexagon inscribed in a circle. We are going to go to GeoGebra and we're going to start creating using the GeoGebra app. I'm going to use the Algebra view. And I'm going to go here and I'm just going to remove the axes. So in order to make a hexagon inside of a circle, we need to begin with a circle. The top one is a circle. This is a really pretty and fun really fun um, construction. So we're going to be making a hexagon inside of here and if actually if you if you do every other line you can make an equilateral triangle. So let me show you how to do this. So we're going to take our compass tool and we're going to go open it up A, B through B then intersect. And we're just going to keep re re doing this again repeatedly if you were to do it by hand what you were going to do is open your width of your compass of your compass not on by hand this distance a b and then put it on the vertex c and then just keep going around six times so let me show you how to do it from here so you're going to go a b through c then intersect so what you're really doing is this distance from here to here is the same distance as a b this distance right here is the same distance as the radius as well. I'm going to use this, this built-in tool. I'm just going to drag on this and go to D. It goes a little faster. And I'm going to drag on it again and go through E. And theoretically, you have enough points if you do these two intersections to create your hexagon, but it just isn't pretty. So we're going to finish this off by clicking on this, go through F, click on this and go through G. Now to make your hexagon, I'm going to use the polygon tool and I'm going to go in the counterclockwise direction to the left. And if you're using the version that is downloaded, you just right click and you can hit object properties and change the color. Otherwise, they have, if you just click on here, well, I guess I just turned this off, but object properties, there's this thing that comes up and we can change the color. Let's change the color to something different and we'll make it a little bit darker and change the opacity. It doesn't really want to get that dark. Well, oh yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. So let's let's ch find out how much these angles are going to be theoretically. The sum of the interior angles goes by a formula of n minus 2 times 180 degrees. That means if you add up all the angles from C, D, E, F, G, and B, all these interior angles, they should add up to this formula. N is 6, because there's 6 sides in a hex. So let's hit my calculator. Of course, I've been working on this, checking it, so that's why my calculator says that. 4 times 180, because N minus 2, equals 720. That's the sum of all of them. But if you want to find each, you take that number, 720, and you divide it by N, or 720 divided by 6. Divide this by 6 and it's going to be 120 degrees which would be the number of degrees on each of the angles, interior angles of the hexagon. So let's check it. So cool. Boom! 120. I want to see those angles and you don't have to do this math right here. I'm just going to hide that right now anyways. See if I can find the stroke and I can hide those. But this is what I want your construction to look like. I hope you enjoyed this video. You hit save, save it as a GeoGebra file, and thank you so much for watching.